guys, so this is video two on the playlist of dealing with indices and we're going to carry on having a look at some of the GCSE practice questions. So the first one is any um, number where it's got an indice to the value of zero is equal to one. Doesn't really matter what that number is, providing it's got um, a fractional index of zero, it's still going to be one. Okay, the next one is, is that where we've got a negative indice, it basically means the reciprocal, so I can rewrite that as 1 over 4 squared, and then if I calculate that, that's going to be 1 over 4 squared, which is 16. Okay, um, on to part 3, well, we've got 100 to the power of a half, well that's exactly the same as saying the square root of 100. Well, the square root of 100 is 10. Okay, so on that particular question, I'm going to go on to um, question six, but I'm just going to do the first part of question six in this video, and then on the next video, I'll have a look at uh, some of uh, some of the index work, which is a little bit trickier. Okay, so again, write down the value of nine to the power of zero is going to be one, and 169 to the half. Well, that's exactly the same as saying as we mentioned before, the square root of 169, which is 13. Okay, so that'll give you some examples of some of the, the fairly basic uh, ideas dealing with indice. And in the next video, we're going to have a look at something that's a little bit more sophisticated, which is these two questions here, which is 64 to the power of two thirds and 36 to the power of a half. And also, if we've got time, we'll have a look at the final one there. Okay, hope that's all right, and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.